thinking about moving to New River, Arizona, but aren't sure where it is or if it's the right fit for you? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of New River, show you where it's located, and show you a few of the amenities it might have to offer to help you decide if it's the right fit for you. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Brian Fall, and I'm a real estate agent here in the greater Phoenix area. And if you wanna stay up to date on new videos, community tours, just like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, we are starting the tour of New River off at Roadrunner, which is a bar. On the weekends, this place gets pretty packed with live bull riding. So this is one of the few things they actually have in New River. There is a Shell gas station with a subway. But other than that, there isn't anything else as far as shopping or places to eat within the uh, area of New River. So you'll have to end up leaving New River and go to either Anthem or into kind of the Cave Creek and uh, far north Phoenix areas. For location, New River is directly north of Phoenix, um, right off Interstate 17 as you're going north out of Phoenix. So it's still within Maricopa County. From New River to the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, it's about a 40 minute uh, drive, depending on traffic, uh, but it is a straight shot directly down the freeway. Uh, now, depending on where you're at within New River, you could be way back in the hills. Then obviously that's gonna add a little bit more time to get to the airport. But as far as going to any of the grocery stores and other shopping, food places, depending where exactly you're within uh, New River, you're probably a 15 minute drive to get to any of the food or shopping uh, since New River doesn't have any of their own within the area. Now, according to the 2020 census, there was just over 17,000 residents within New River. Now, New River is an unincorporated area, so a a lot of the properties you'll find in New River are on acres, um, typically one acre, but you'll find some on three, four, or five, or even more acres. So you can have horses here, uh, people have chickens and um, goats and all sorts of things. So with that, a lot of the properties, uh, well, all of them are gonna be on septic tanks. And then a lot of the water is either gonna be on a well or hauled water. So that's a uh, little bit different than some of the uh, homes you'll find within the city limits. Um, but just something to keep in mind if you're gonna be living in this area. There is one community within the New River limits that is a subdivision. I'm not sure how many exactly homes, but probably only about 100 homes. So most of New River is gonna be homes on land. New River was actually founded in the late 1800s. Um, it was a stagecoach uh, stop, and they still today actually have a place called Wrangler's Roost, which is one of the old stagecoach shops that you can uh, go stay at and visit, um, and that's still here today. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and show you a couple different properties at different prices uh, within uh, New River. Now, the prices range uh, anywhere from the high 200s, right around 300,000, all the way up to easily over a million dollars. It just depends on how much land you're getting. Because this is county land, you can have manufactured homes, so we'll find those here. So there's kind of a wide range of homes, um, but the big thing is you're gonna get a, typically a decent sized piece of land. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you two different properties uh, at different price ranges so you can get an idea of what your money will get you here in New River. Now here's a look at the first property within New River, and this is gonna be priced at $625,000, which is actually a little below the median home price in New River, which is $670,000. So this is gonna be a little bit under the median price. And this home is a 2,268 square foot home, three bedroom, two bath with a den, and it is located on 1.1 acres. It is on a little bit of an elevated lot, so there's some views, and then um, some of the property is kind of hillside, so not perfectly flat lot but you'll find that within New River and this is kind of in the east side of New River and this home is the southwestern style property which you'll find a lot of with the New River as well but inside the home there is really tall flat ceilings a great open floor plan and this home is really has a lot to offer with new carpet new interior paint but again this is going to be kind of your uh, standard home that you'll find with the New River especially for this price range uh, not a ton of homes that are cheaper than this unless you go the manufactured home route. So that's a look at the first home in New River. Now here's a look at the second home. This one is located right in the middle of New River and they are listed at $900,000. It is located on 1.7 acres and the main house is just over 2,500 square foot and then there's a small little 450-ish square foot guest house out back. Now this one again is very similar to the last one as far as the exterior style being southwestern uh, which we do see a lot in the New River area 
and outside they have a lot of amenities for enjoying the uh, outside desert views and they have a pool with a massive waterfall a putting green a volleyball court so a lot to do outside this home and then inside it is a two-story home built in 1991 so that's a look at kind of the higher end price range of what you can find in New River um, and some of that value of this property is going to be that it is 1.7 acres so you get a little bit more elbow room than some of the acre properties with the New River. So we actually just made a pit stop. Didn't get any footage of it, um, but we drove through the Shangri-La Resort and that is the clothing optional resort they have here in New River. So I've always knowing, known it as like a nudist colony. So we drove through and it looks like there's some people that actually live in there. It's kind of gated entry, but there's some like single wide homes in there, modular manufactured homes. And then there's a good amount of RV uh, spots that you can actually rent. So you can go stay at this clothing optional resort and driving through, it's not even a very warm day today. It's kind of chilly. And uh, there's probably four completely naked people just walking around. So the other thing is depending um, on where you're at, the, the views here are awesome. But with that, if you're home, it could be elevated, but also there's a lot of little washes that kind of run down the sides of these hills and through people's property. So depending on where you're at, you know, there's a way to check to see if there's a floodplain on your property. So there could be a potential you buy a home and you need flood insurance. So there's a couple of things to definitely check out during your inspection period. New River is a beautiful community. If you're looking for something that's just tucked back away in the hills, away from the, the Phoenix area, New River is a great option if you want to have your livestock, your horses, your animals, um, have a little bit of elbow room from your neighbors. Uh, New River is really a great option. I like that you feel like you're out of the city, but really if you needed to drive to the grocery stores to get food or uh, go out to dinner, you're really not too far. I mean, 20, 30 minutes, you could be pretty much anywhere in the greater like North Phoenix area. So. Location's awesome. Wrapping up the tour of New River, Arizona here at Wrangler's Roost, which was a stagecoach stop, as you can see, in the uh, late 1800s. So one of the places here, they have a little resort uh, that you can stay at here. And uh, there's some uh, actual people that live within the uh, fence as well. So in short, New River is a great option for you. If you are looking to live just outside the city limits, want to kind of get away from the hustle and bustle, have great mountain views, New River is a great option, especially to have a little bit of land with your property, a little bit of elbow room from your neighbors. If you want to enjoy your horses or livestock, New River could be a great option for you. So if you have any further questions about New River, uh, what it's like living here or want to see any homes for sale, uh, feel free to reach out, give me a call, text, or an email. I'd love to help out in any way. And thanks again so much for watching the video.